Hello and welcome to this video on how to use the Entrepreneurial Competences Framework for assessment purposes. The framework which was presented in the video Introduction to the Entrepreneurial Competences Framework presents entrepreneurial skills and competencies that encompass a big range of both hard and soft transversal skills that allow you to turn ideas into action and create financial, cultural and social value for others. The three levels of the framework allow you to provide the students with a guideline, a resource for identifying their skills levels before and after participating in activities such as a CBL program. By using such a framework and learning to identify their current level, the students get to work on their professional development by creating an action plan, identifying their strengths, weaknesses and opportunities in development, having a starting point to monitor progress, prioritize development needs, and learning the right vocabulary to better present themselves during interviews. One of the formative methods of using the framework is through a self-evaluation workshop. This workshop consists of five main steps that a teacher can guide the students through. Step one, at the beginning of the program, ask the students to brainstorm and note down the skills they think they will use or develop during the program. Step two, present the list of skills that you think will be important during the program. You have seven selected skills examples in the Entrepreneurial Framework Introduction document. At this stage, do not show them the framework yet. Ask the students to self-assess their level for each of the selected skills, one being basic and three being expert. Step three, show them the framework with the three levels for each skill you have chosen and ask them to self-evaluate themselves again based on the discussions and the detailed descriptions they find in the framework. Step four, ask the students to think of examples of how those skills can be applied during the program. Have group discussions of the examples they think of and based on the discussion, ask them to come up with an individual action plan to implement during their participation in the program in order to improve their skills level. Step five, at the end of the program, Ask the participants to redo steps three and four and analyze if their skills levels have improved through their active participation and self-development work based on their individual action plan. This framework can also be used in other formative or summative ways for assessment. For example, to create open badges for each skill and level or as an evaluation tool by tutors, mentors or a jury as well as in a 360 degrees evaluation process.